Today I'm going to show you a drilling rig. I had the pleasure to board one of those ones and it's amazing. Normally these ships are about 200 meters long. Uh, that equals approximately 600 feet. It's a lot. It's a very large boat, roughly 50 meters wide. And the people on board for this ship accounts between uh, oscillates between 80 people to 160 people depending on the operation it's performing you can imagine on the ship house you not only have all the command system of the ship there's also the dormitories where people sleep the rooms so to have 160 people uh, taking turns working on this ship you have to have a lot of rooms a whole hotel uh, staff service and yeah so these ships are huge they're very complex and they perform very complex operations as well what is a drilling rig well basically a drilling rig drills holes on the seabed to reach the oil reservoirs how does this happen if you see the ship counts with dynamic positioning system which means these thrusters actually keep it in position all the time because you see once the offshore uh, once the oil field is located there's a specific place to drill of course the ship must stand on its one position to to drill uh, properly um, this on the middle of it is the drill bit of course you see the drill bit uh, is merely standing next to the ship at this moment but what happens is Little by little, these drill pipes are connected to on this tower. This is the drilling tower. And drill pipes are connected one after another. This, this drill bit goes all the way down to the seabed and it drills holes of, drills wells in this case, of approximately five kilometers. That's a lot of, of the dirt to dig from the ground. And how does it do it? Well, uh, the ship receives constantly drill pipes and a whole, uh, these drill pipes are connected on this tower using a series of equipments uh, of claws that hold, the, uh, that, that grip the, the entire structure and add new components to it until it reaches the seabed level. It uses cranes just like this one I, I use very simple cranes to illustrate what this is and these cranes move the, the, the pipes from one place to another, from one lay down area to another on the ship and just like the real ship it has a powerhouse uh, behind, it also has flare towers, I mean not as long as the flare tower from the FPSO but many flare towers to dissipate gas and heat whenever uh, the whenever necessary during drilling operations it also has a heli deck for people to go on board and to disembark and last but not least it counts with two rescue boats in case of emergency in case the ship must be abandoned uh, people have a chance to save their lives this last case scenario is rare but uh, it may happen although safety is the uh, number one uh, concern when building and operating these machines. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, for those of you who work in the oil and gas industry, uh, write down your comments. Let me know what your experience is as you go to work and you board one of these wonderful machines. Uh, if you have visited as I did, also let me know about your experience and yeah i hope you enjoyed it remember to subscribe to the channel and also thumbs up to the video see you next time bye bye